I boosted my FPS by over 20% on a PC without a GPU, we're only running integrated graphics. So I sat down and fully optimized a stock Windows PC, showing you exactly what I did step by step. Just compare the FPS in creative on the left side before the tweaks and then on the right side after all the tweaks. Are you tired of having hyping in Fortnite and you wonder how all your favorite Fortnite pros always seem to have zero delay? What you need for that is no ping guys. Your number one client to reduce your ping in every single game you guys want to play. Let's say you want to play Fortnite, you just search it up, select it, and no ping is gonna give you an overview of all of the best servers available in your near. And the coolest part is, it works on multiple regions. So if you like to play cash cap on a different region, it can still help you to get the best server. So just select the server you wanna use, click on to optimize this game, and no ping is gonna automatically help you to get the best connection possible. Additionally, they also feature some FPS boost features, and they are all tested tweaks which are going to help you to improve your system speed. Make sure to check out no ping with the link in the video description. Now the first step is very easy. All you gotta do is open up your task manager and make sure to deactivate as many programs as possible under the startup. Just simply take a look at what you need definitely whenever you're launching your PC and what can be completely turned off. Many people forget these tools launch multiple background processes. That's why you always want to make sure to not even start them. And now let's do something about this super high amount of processes because that one is really slowing down your PC. And what we need for that is the Chris Titus Tech Utility. The link to it is in the video description guys. And all you gotta do is copy the following code from the website directly. The next up go into your window search and type in that PowerShell, right click onto it and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you're gonna paste in the following comment and press enter and wait for it to load. And then after some time, the Chris Titus Tech Utility is gonna open up and we're gonna click under tweaks on the top. You know how Windows is always filled up with unnecessary applications and tons of software which you never really wanted or needed, which is actively slowing down your PC in the background? Well, all you gotta do is click under standard or minimal one of these presets. Of course, standard is gonna remove a little bit more, but only unnecessary applications. And the coolest part about it is the tool does it all automatically for you. All you have to do is just simply check what you want to delete and what not. For me, as mentioned, I always use the standard preset. That one is really safe and it even creates a restore point for you, which is amazing. Then we're also going to scroll down and actually run real quick O and O shut up. As you can see, it disables something like advertising ID and basically just Microsoft collecting tons of data of your PC. And all you have to do is click under actions on the top guys and then apply only recommended settings. That way you're 100% safe that nothing wrong is gonna get applied and it's even gonna ask you if you wanna create a restore point which you're of course gonna do just in case again. Now wait for it to apply all the tweaks and then we're gonna go back into the Chris Titus Windows Tech Utility itself and run the tweaks on the bottom as well. And while it's actually applying all the tweaks you can watch it in the partial window itself how it's being applied onto your PC. As mentioned, the tool automatically creates restore points for you, so you're good to go. And then once it's done, all you have to do is restart your PC. And here right now on screen, you can see how it actually lowered my amount of processes by so much the next time I restarted my PC. It's a huge difference and my stock windows also takes a lot less gigs of RAM in idle mode, which is amazing and perfect. So in this next step, guys, I'm about to show you how you can set up the TDR delay. That one is super important and basically prevents your GPU driver crashes. So what you have to do is search up rack until you can find the rack editor in your Windows search bar and open it up. Then you should see the registry editor and I want you to go under HKEY LOCAL MACHINE, then under SYSTEM, CURRENT CONTROL SET, CONTROL, and graphics drivers. I'm gonna leave the direct path to it in the video description so that you can just paste it on the top and automatically get there. And once you're actually in there, you wanna right click into the open space, go under new, and then dword 32 bit value. And you wanna name it just exactly like me right now on screen, TDR delay. And once you get it, you get a double click onto it and make sure to change the value data all the way up to eight. Of course, still on hexadecimal and then just simply click on OK and you're good to go for this first step. For this next step, you have to search up game until you can find the game mode directly in Windows. And guys, trust me, you want to utilize this one. It makes a huge difference and can help you a lot, especially with stutter in Fortnite. And you also want to click under graphics, go in the browse and make sure to copy exactly the same path as I did so that you can find the Fortnite XM manually and add it to the game mode so that you then have the option to actually put it into high performance, which is also important for the game mode to fully function. Next up, you want to again go into your Windows search bar and type in that power until you can find change power plan. And if it says for you balance, guys, that is the worst one which you can have for gaming. It's not going to fully utilize your CPU, but I'm going to show you how to change this. What you want to utilize rather is high or ultimate performance. And for me, I'm going to show you how to enable the ultimate performance one. All you got to do is copy the comment from the video description and then search up CMD into your Windows search bar. 
Right click onto it, run it as an administrator and once the window opens up, you're gonna paste in the following command. Once you then press enter, it's gonna tell you that the ultimate performance mode is enabled. And now once you go back into your power plan again, you know, just simply type in that power into the window search bar, you can then pick actually the ultimate performance mode, which is crucial when you wanna fully utilize your CPU. Trust me, there are so many people out there who are playing Fortnite right now and they're maybe not even utilizing their CPU to the fullest potential. They're losing so much FPS actually. So therefore you wanna double check this that you actually use the right one guys don't use balance or any of these power saving ones you want to use higher ultimate performance now for this next step you want to search up performance until you can find adjust the appearance and performance of windows and open it up guys and in here straight up you can see you have a bunch of options and what we actually want to do is disable all these fancy animations and go under adjust for best performance the only thing which i would recommend you to actually keep on is show thumbnails instead of icons which is for videos on your desktop or on your PC in general, and then you can see all the fancy animations are actually gone, which is a lot more friendly for our PC. But we're gonna straight up continue with the virtual memory, click under change, and make sure to put the check here on the top bar so that we can set a custom value. And I'm gonna explain you real quick how it works. Especially if you're running, let's say four to eight gigs of RAM, it's very important that you set up your virtual memory. Because if your normal memory is already full with other stuff, it's gonna dump some other files on the virtual memory so that it ensures that your PC is gonna still run smooth and fast. So setting it up the right way is crucial when it comes down to system smoothness and I'm gonna explain you real quick how to do it. As you can see, one gig are 1024 Mbits. So what we gotta know is how much RAM we have, four, eight, 16, whatever. On this PC right now, it's 32 gigs of RAM. So what I'm going to do is open up my calculator, of course, and then I'm gonna type in exactly my amount of RAM for initial size, which is 32 and then times 1024, which is gonna give me exactly the value which I have to put in there, which is 32,768. So just simply type it in there real quick. And then for the maximum size, I just simply gotta count it times two, which is gonna be 65,536. Since keep in mind, we are calculating in Mbit as it says. Just simply click under set and then you're already good to go. Everything should be properly set up and all you gotta do is restart your PC for this to take change. And for the next step, what you wanna do is open up your Epic Games Launcher, go in the library and make sure to find your Fortnite. Then just simply click under these three dots next to it and click under options. And now the problem is a lot of people have way too many files downloaded, which are actually causing stutter and FPS drops in Fortnite. You only want core battle royale and then maybe pre-downloaded stream assets. These two you want to have. Those are the only two options which you want to have checked, guys. No extra language, all of that, only these two. Especially the assets are very important and many people seem to forget them because they can really help with overall smoothness in the game. After it's done with downloading, you can then see the game is normally ready to go and should also help you to get a smoother experience. After applying all of these tweaks, my Fortnite ran so much smoother and I gotta say guys, all the stutter which I had previously was completely gone. So therefore, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out the two ones which are right now on screen as well.